hi there welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a good larder declutter as you know if you watch my channel regular i have i converted the understairs cupboard into a larder a few years ago it gets really messy i really struggle to keep on top of the tidiness we were just saying that i think a lot of the problem is we don't quite have enough space that we need and I've been talking about stripping out the whole back wall is actually a homemade wine rack that was in here before I moved in over 20 years ago. We don't drink that much um, and it's just a waste of space. I would love to get some shelving in there, really would, because we keep all our cleaning, you know, all the hoover, the mop, everything in there. So there's such a lot of things in there and not quite enough space so it gets really messy and like Aid was just saying that sometimes you go to find something and you're in a hurry and it doesn't always get put back properly but today we're stripping it all out giving everything a good clean and just really having a look to see what we have got I did want to say that we do keep a really really good stock of things and you know this already if you watch my videos anyway that we always buy in bulk I do buy in Costco and I keep a really good stock of things like flour, baking ingredients and just usual store cupboard. I always keep a really, really good stock and I don't like running down low. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe if you don't already and leave me a comment. Let me know as well if you like to keep things in your larder as well. Do you keep a good stock? Do you Are you good at rotating it and keeping it tidy? And where do you buy in bulk? Um, do you go to Costco? Do you go to Booker's? Places like that, let me know. First thing we're gonna do is clean out the larder. Aids on coffee. And we're gonna have a little tidy up in here because it's got very, very messy. It's one of those spaces that despite how much I try and keep tidy, it just doesn't seem to stay tidy we've always kept a really good stock of food and i don't know i don't know why it doesn't stay tidy i have a really good system in place there's a place for things there's a place for that I, I think the problem is there's a place for things but not quite enough space and so especially if you're in a hurry then to or try and put things, things back looking for things you get something else and yeah. you have to leave yeah yeah and it doesn't go always go back properly yeah, so it's time for a good tidy anyway. This is also a really good time to actually take everything out and give it all a clean. You've found some jars are a bit sticky. Yeah, and some you? stuff, the yeah. 2014. Oh, really? Yeah, so they've obviously were at the bottom. Yeah. It shows how long actually, we Do you know, actually... I bet they're fine. They're tins. They will be, yeah. Should we open them and actually have... That'd be really nice on toast. Yeah, we've got another... Are they all out of date? I don't know, some of them are newer. Yeah, do you know, I reckon they're fine. Also a good time when you're going through things to date check, but I think tins are probably fine. I, and I really fancy those on toast now. And we've also still got those mackerel fillets that I defrosted as well. Bought that back from the States. From the States. And they can get it cheaper over here. I know, you can buy it from Costco. Right, um, nice. The other thing I wanted to say before I go through and do the larder with you. Um, I always keep a really, really good stock, which is why I converted my understairs cupboard into a larder. When did we do that? About three, four years ago? Yeah, probably. Um, I had this thing years ago when I was broke and money was really, really difficult. I remember struggling and needing to make meals and things, but I didn't have the ingredients to bake or to make meals and it was really, really difficult. And then we'd have payday and this was obviously before I worked for myself, we'd have payday and we'd have to go and do such a big shop and spend so much money on just basic larder items, um, ketchup, um, just, you know what I mean, just baking, just normal items. And so when money became easier, I always vowed that I would always keep a well-stocked larder and that's again why I converted that space. I always wanted to have loads of baking stuff so that if I wanted to bake I could always have loads of ingredients and again being self-employed it was always that stage where I had and I could live off the food from my larder for a good few weeks if I needed to if money was really really low and I'd still be able to bake my kids a cake still be able to make meals so we've always got a decent stash so none of this is from panic bulk buying this is our normal larder stuff and to be honest, we were just talking. We haven't actually been out. We haven't actually been and done big shops. You saw me go to Costco recently, and I think I had about seven, eight items in my basket. And none of that was toilet rolls. <laughs> I needed my tray of tomatoes because I literally had about four tins of tomatoes left. 
Um, but we, we haven't. We're running low on something, though. What are we running low on? Oh, your spray cheese. Spray cheese. We're not going back to the States now. No, no, I've got about three left, I think. Um, but we've been, yeah, we haven't had to go. I had all my flour, had all my gravy granules. Um, we haven't really needed to get. It's just like when I'm making my, my menu. Um, it's just topping it's, things it's up. It's also sometimes with Holly not being here, like she might yeah, come home. It's not. True. She never asks. Don't get me wrong. She really is, is good. She's amazing. With but being it's for at example, uni. have you got such and such? And it's a case that it might be we give her a grave of granules because we've got one. Yeah, got and then spare. we just replace one. Yeah. So I think it's just. I mean, you can see there we've got two pestos, but then you do a couple of meals, and one of those could be used, couldn't they? No, we're just going through our tins. But also, when you look at like what this, they have in the states, this looks like nothing anyway. I did buy chickpeas the other day, but I had run out of them. Uh, but yeah, so this is just normal for us. What, including the Biscoff? I haven't opened that yet. I wanted to, I bought Biscoff spread, it was ages ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, and there's a nice big bottle of hay one. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make some Biscoff cakes. This custard here is 2018, but again, that's probably fine. Shall I make a dessert and try that tomorrow? Dump cake. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, dump cake. Another thing as well, if you'd have seen my videos a while back, that time when I found nine jars of salsa in the fridge, remember that, Aid? Uh, well, don't blame, that was Louis. He had seven of them. Three of them right. had your name on them. Can I show you something no. here then? Can I show you something? No. But I'm just saying, half finished, almost finished, and I'm sure there's another one in there as well. Or there might, there might not. Aid's cleaning out another tray. We've also just found, he's been clearing out the top shelf which i never declutter because i can't reach up there he's found a bottle of slow gin i knew it was there did you know it was there yeah oh i didn't I know have, that look, do you know when you say oh we got this and we run out yeah. i have something like that ready and you moan about me for shopping yeah but i didn't know it's up there i but love slow gin finish. it's the really the last, good stuff we got the as last well. little bottle of the other one let's finish that today oh, should we, we have that tonight i'll it. show you it's the sip smith slow gin it's so lovely it's just going up to get a better lamp so that's the top shelf that i can have oh we found tea bags as well we're finding so much stuff that we didn't actually realize we had there's more tea there's more syrup loads oh we've got new pancake syrup as well it's like christmas finding all this new stuff i can see a packet of cookies up there as well i wonder if i don't know what they are there might be some doritos as well and we're going to go through all of these as well I keep all the potato chips in a basket like this on top of some little plastic drawers in the larder. Um, so I can also actually give this a really good clean. And this is another way that I've been able to keep things over the years. I think this was actually a toy thing for the kids years and years ago. Um, and I've labelled it all up. But actually, things like brioche. Um, Louis hasn't been taking those to school for ages, so I could actually change the labelling as well and update them. I've just taken out the drawers from that little unit in the larder and I'm going to go through, I haven't actually been using these properly and um, we've got really old stuff in here. I didn't even realise I've got two things of hot chocolate that are both opened. Problem is we have so much stuff in the cupboard that we can't always access the drawers if like we've bought a lot of breakfast cereal. Um, I didn't even realise I had all this chocolate and cookies. Um, this is left from our road trip in the summer that we've taken with us and we've just bunged in here so I need to go through we bought these in the States that haven't been opened it's a good opportunity to actually go through and see exactly what we've got and I'm also going to give the draw unit a good wipe down and it's also a really good opportunity to clean at the back here I've got an old bread maker I've got my Nan's old sewing machine and I don't know what that is. Is that the old typewriter case, I think? So um, I can pull all this out and give it a really good clean. I really want to get rid of these. We really, really don't need them. Um, sorry, excuse the washing machine on. We have decided that the really, really out of date fish we will not be eating. I spoke to my sister on the phone. She hates fish anyway, but she had a good point. If we were to get sick at the moment with everything happening, the hospitals are really busy. It's not a great time. So we are going to bin those now going through and all the containers that we've got open like we just had some gravy open and we had um two open actually two big gravy granules and we were able to pour one into the other so now we've just got one in the cupboard um so we're doing things like that and i'm just going to do the same with the hot chocolate now so both of these were actually open i didn't realize i had two and the actual this is what we keep in the cupboard 
up there. So I'm going to fill this up and see if I can get away with pouring one into the other and just having one on the go now. Hot chocolate's full. And I've managed to get everything into here. I've decided this is actually a really good container. It's really nice and airtight, so I'm actually going to keep this. I might do a DIY project with that. Before we went to the States on our road trip, I bought absolutely loads of bars from Costco, and I've still got loads in here. Plus, also, because they're vegan, I can give them to Holly. I think Ada just bashed his head. Um, I don't know what the date is. They Oh, here's the date. Oh, 12, 2019, so they all need using it. Actually, we could even crunch these down to make granola if we wanted to but I definitely won't be throwing them away. The Amoriti biscuits, I love these. I make a really good um, chocolate and raspberry cake with those, Amoretti chocolate and raspberry. I'll link up the recipe below. I'm sure I've made that um, as a video. I'll link that up, it's absolutely amazing. But as you can see, we've got loads of crumbs, sunflower seeds, all sorts in here, so I will give these a good clean out. Um, I'm using Method Cleaner to clean everything. It's my favorite cleaner. I was telling a friend about it yesterday. She'd never even heard of method cleaner before um, but it's really good um, much better for the environment no chemicals and all the packaging is made from recycled stuff as well and the other good thing they always in amazing fragrances this one's clementine it smells so nice which is a good thing because aids going through the old alcohol from it was all in the top shelf there's so much up there stuff that gets given to us and we kind of we put it in the cupboard and we don't think about it there's beer that's like six years old he's just emptied some um like f uh like f not fake wines but you know what non-alcoholic wines and they are really really out of date and they stink it really smells bad in the kitchen no, at the they moment. Wines, they were the strawberry lemonades. The strawberry lemonades. Yeah, the Belvoir ones. They stunk though, didn't I don't they? Know if that was the sink or if that was the. No, they. Then... You could, and they'd gone really cloudy, hadn't they? <laughs> Not just cloudy. I think I'm gone. also yeah. checking dates as I go. I've noticed that these crackers are 2019, October 2019, and these are 2020. Um, I still won't throw these away because I could still use these as almost like bis uh, crumbs if I was coating, um, I've got some pork in the freezer, so I could um, put them in the mixer and to almost like give me breadcrumb coatings or if I'm making um, my own chicken nuggets, chicken strippers, that kind of thing. So I won't throw them away because they can still be used. We're just going through all the sweet stuff now and um, date checking things, cleaning things up. So we got some Let's fudge see. sauce, there's yeah. a bit of golden syrup there as well. Actual fact, I can trump That's all that. chocolate syrup, Oh, is it chocolate one? syrup? Yeah. So I've just trying to put these into here. Yeah, because right? they won't get used. Clear them, okay. clean them. This was a gift to Holly, strawberry and vanilla instant tea, but it's gone a bit nasty and it's dated 2016. So I think we can get rid of that. Yeah. Right, we've been wiping down. I've got um, shelf liner on there. I've been cleaning everything down with the method. Um, a little hack I had for extending my shelf, I did this years ago, got an old canvas here that we don't use and place that across. It usually sits flat but it's not very flat at the moment. Um, but that just extends the shelf so we can pop another one there. We do really want to get rid of that wine rack though. Um, but yeah, so that's where we are at the moment and I'm going to put all my pastas and rices and things on that shelf there. Aid's just having a look to see how the wine rack was fitted to Looks see if like it's something down that end there as well. So it could be something that can just easily be removed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Aid's in the middle of doing the larder. We're doing this together. He's removing the old wine rack, which I've been wanting doing for ages. He's just called me. I'm editing videos at the moment. He's just called me to come and have a look. That looks so much better. It smells really nice in here as well could do with painting that wall eventually. Eventually what we were just saying, what we'd like to do is when things calm down and you can go shopping again, um, we'd like to get these brackets and continue the shelves all the way across. So what we're doing for now is just like a temporary measure. But it's a big improvement, isn't it? Yeah. And it smells of clementines in here. Right, we're making really good progress. The drawers are in. And we've also got the crisp basket. And then behind here, I've got all the Costco bread. And then we've got the soup maker, and then the plan is to put the mop and the vacuum cleaner on the side there. I'm so pleased the hoover fits in perfectly down the side with the mop, and that frees up all the front there now. 
I've just got so much more space at the front. We also keep a basket under here, under the unit for the drinks, and Aid's just cleaned all that out. And I think I've worked under the floor as well. You've cleaned the floor. Oh, thank you for cleaning the floor. Underneath the basket's really difficult to clean. I know baskets are difficult to clean. I think we're going to put some of our alcohol that was in the cupboard in there. So when people buy you stuff, and because we don't really drink, unless when friends come, we give it to them. We oh, end up. Two of box fizz are okay. Yeah, these are gifts as well, aren't they? Okay. I know. I mum. tend to just drink the odd glass of like half a glass of pink um, rose or the odd glass of half glass of prosecco. Aid sticks to cider, um, but because we don't drink that often, we end up with loads of alcohol. That's new. Oh, that's I a think new that was one. From Leslie, not Leslie, from Emily. Oh, that was from Emily the other day. This here. See, things like that prosecco is really nice because you can eat it, and drink it when friends come over. That I bought for um, Holly actually for the summer. That's a non-alcoholic wine. Of last summer. Yeah, that should be fun. Oh yeah, 2020 March. July or March. Yeah, it's really fun finding stuff that you forgot you had as well. I found some Disney coffee. Should we try this tomorrow, actually? I know it's really old, best before 2018, shouldn't we? We are being careful with out-of-date stuff, though I would have risked it before, but because of everything that's going on, like I said before, I'm not going to take a risk with certain things. Not at the moment. Are you ready for the final review? No. Reveal. Are you ready for the final reveal? We've been working on this all day. I've got Aid shining a torch in because it's very dark in here. There is a light under there, but it's warm There is, home. yeah, we need to charge it, so. And then we've got, it's just so much clearer down there. So if I start, we've got the bread and we've got like the cool bags at the back as well. And then the mop and the hoover. We've got crisps and treats in there. And then we've got like snacks, um, biscuits, cookies savory biscuits at the bottom there i've got noodles in the bottom as well which is quite handy because we get through a lot of noodles and then at the top here now this is so much better utilized for space cereals and then we've also got things like syrup i've just noticed you put the gin up there as well and tea bags we've also put cloths up there and then here we've got these this is like the sweet shelf so we've got like jams um custards fruits um, we've also got like Holly's vegan desserts, that kind of thing is up there. Chutneys, um, cranberry sauce. Oh, actually, we've also got things like mint sauce as well, haven't we? Mm. And then this is like all the savory stuff. So here we've got like all my stuff for curry. We've got tins of tuna. We've got some stuffing mixes there. Um, all that kind of savory soups as well. This side is coconut milk. We've also got... Um, Corn corn sweet corn um we've got some more soup there as well chickpeas all that kind of thing tray of chopped tomatoes and these are all beans and then in here we've got like soy sauces we've got pesto sun-dried tomatoes gravy mix as well i've actually popped this here i wasn't quite sure where to pop that and oh, taco shells and salsa this is my flour and sugar and then we've got pastas, and then I keep them all separate. So like orzo, um, different shapes of pasta, paella, quinoa, and then I've got oats, penne pasta at the back, long grain rice. And then do you remember that pesto, uh, pasta I bought recently in Lidl? I absolutely love that. I've got a bag of that in the cupboard as well because only a small amount fits in there, and that's for chicken noodle soup. Down here, I keep all my jars. I will link up the previous um, cupboard um, videos in case you want to see them that's our coffee stash there um love these jars from wilco's but they are a pain to open they really really hurt i think the jars were only about 250 each but they're not very friendly to be honest they do they are quite painful here i've got like my cheap little noodles i've got bulgur wheat uh, lasagna oh there's that big bag of pasta from Lidl. um i've got a bag of spaghetti i've got the linguine that i love from Lidl. Lasagna, we're running low on lasagna actually. Um, and oats, oat pots. Down here, I don't know where to put this, so I've just put shreddies down there. We're keeping now potatoes and onions, sweet potatoes in there. Here is all just stuff from the cupboard. Um, I noticed actually we've got Christmas Nutella, so that one's next to be used up. Vinegar, sweet chilli sauce. These are all kind of things that we buy from Costco. Like the sweet chilli comes, yeah, the, but I mean like the large ones, like the ketchup, because yeah, yeah. the sweet chilli comes in twos yes. in Costco. 
and then I need to clear the cupboard out by the back door for the cleaning stuff so we always keep spares here so I keep a fairy liquid here but then the one that we're using is, Sorry, under, the light's a bit rubbish. is under the cupboard and that's our oh I've got my I've got our Costco potato chips there as well that's it I think that's a much better way of using the space and, still the back doors the same. and this is yeah this I haven't done anything here this is what I did in my last video actually when I bought these this is from Amazon to use for like all our seasonings stock I've got chocolate chips for baking and then we've got like dried cranberries which I use for muffins and this is chocolate for cooking and cup of soups but I'd already got this I haven't actually touched any of that today so that's already in place and my ironing board and iron and which hold of it. don't actually get used hang in there really hope you've enjoyed the video today it feels so good to get that job done it's a job i've been wanting to do for so so long and um, i finally roped aid into helping me today i wouldn't have been able to get those that wine rack thing off the back and it just feels so much more spacious in there now and it's so nice not having to keep the hoover and the mop in front of the shelves which is what i usually have to do but i'll link up the previous videos below of like the cupboard coming together in the past it's just been a slow kind of like growing project over the last few years but i'd really like to get it painted and to get some decent shelving in there that would be really good let me know how you store your larder items do you have like a larder pantry type space um i wouldn't be able to now survive with just my kitchen cupboards i like to have a good stock of things and it just feels really great knowing that you've got everything that you need but thank you very much for watching today i hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.